what, what, what the haters talking about. What's up, family? In 2017, an Atlanta teenager crashed her vehicle into three pedestrians, including an infant child. She was sentenced to 36 months of hard probation. 18-year-old Zoe Reardon reared her head into a courtroom on Monday morning and entered a plea to a misdemeanor with her attorney saying she did not want to put the victim's family through a trial. Reardon could have faced 36 months behind bars. Instead, she was served probation and check-in from Texas, where she currently attends college. But there's more. She will also get her license back after one year. She'll pay a fine and donate to a foundation centered around combating distracted driving. Under first offender status, her record will be cleared when she completes the sentence. This is what the judge told her. You're pretty young. You got a lifetime ahead of you. I expect this is something you're going to have a hard time dealing with the rest of your life. Wow. Check this out, y'all. It gets deeper. Cherokee County authorities initially closed the case and said that Reardon would not be charged, but it was reopened in the midst of a civil litigation against the city of Woodstock where the group died. It centered around a lack of pedestrian measures in place around an entertainment pavilion where the victims were headed to see a concert. Reardon has maintained she never saw the group crossing the road that evening and her defense has highlighted forensics to punctuate this was not a distracted driving case. If it's not a distracted driving case, why is she donating money to a foundation centered around combating distracted driving? <laughs> why these people are something else? And how did you kill three people and it only be a misdemeanor punishable by up to three years in prison. Wow, I didn't know that Georgia laws were so lenient. Maybe I need to move to Georgia. Absolutely amazing. She's a grown woman who is driving a vehicle and who should be held responsible for her actions. So now, I guess all you got to do is say you didn't see something and you can kill somebody and get off. That's kind of like the I feel for my life defense. It works 1,000% of the time because only you can know for sure if you feared something. So only she can know for sure if she saw something. And even if she didn't see them, aren't you obligated as a driver to pay attention to the road and obstacles and objects that may be on the road? I don't understand this. This is a very, very strange case to me. No jail time. And here's another thing. She did not seem remorseful at all. In fact, she seemed a little cocky. She had that George Zimmerman thing going on. She even pointed in the courtroom like, you know, like, absolutely amazing. Three years probation for taking three lives. That's one year per life. That's basically what the lives boil down to. One year probation, one year of paperwork per life. That's basically what they're telling the family, the survivors, that each of those lives were worth. One year of probation. Wow. Must be nice. Damn. I would never think that somebody could get off like that. But let's, let's back up. 
brings me back to the what do you call it? The Aflu Af Affluent, is it affluenza case or whatever? Y'all know what I'm talking about. What a kid killed like four people. He mowed down like four people in his vehicle. And he totally got off. I mean, sky, sky free. Like, wow. Absolutely amazing. Seems like if you want to kill somebody, you, you, you either become a police officer, if you want to kill somebody and get away with it, you either become a police officer or just get in your car and run them over. We've been doing a thing the wrong way, y'all. Put the guns down. Get in your car and run over your enemies. And then say you didn't see them. This is absolutely amazing. Jaw-dropping, amazing. I'm going to tell you something, man. Sooner or later, people are going to start taking the law into their own hands because I'm witnessing too many cases, way too many cases, where justice is being denied. These judges, they got to go. These grand juries, they got to go. The whole system needs to be dismantled. Judges have too much latitude in terms of what they can do to a person to punish them or to exonerate them. Keep in mind, y'all, judge is just a title. Just like teacher is a title. Doctor is a title. Landscaper is a title. Rapper is a title. Secretary is a title. And on and on and on. It's just a title. They're people. And they come with their own convictions and prejudices. They bring that into the courtroom like you take it into your office. So, if a judge doesn't like truck drivers because he believes truck drivers hog the road and you're a truck driver, guess what happens if you walk into his courtroom? If the judge happens to be a pedophile and a pedophile comes into his courtroom, well, he's probably going to give that pedophile a break because that's his people, you see? So these, these laws and the, the punishment is just way too vague. And I'm going to tell you, man, America has been holding up a long time avoiding martial law. But I'm telling you, it's close. People are going to start taking the law into their own hand because they're not getting justice. And none of the people who are higher up, the people who can actually make some change, the politicians, the, the people who are, who are in government, the people who are on the inside, the officials, none of them have the, the heart, the integrity, the bravery to step up and do anything about it. A lot of them just going along to get along. And the other ones are just trying to rape the system and get as much money as they can, like Donald Trump. Just trying to get as much money as they can out of the people. That's what it's really about. So... When it go down, don't say I didn't warn you. No more talk. What the haters talking about?